So Polar has just announced a new Polar 360 Whoop like band competitor. Uh, as you can see right here on the screen, this thing looks pretty much exactly like the Whoop band does. It claims a five day battery life. Uh, it is only 13 grams in weight. I presume that's for the sensor and not the entire strap and the pod itself. Uh, it's got USB charging and it's got all of the different Polar metrics that you know and have come to love over time from the different wearable devices like this Polar Grid X2 Pro. So looking left or right there, you see that it's got nightly recharge tracking, it's got nightly skin temperature tracking, it's got heart rate tracking, activity tracking, uh, it has stairs, so stair flights of stairs, it's got breathing rate, and it's got the boost from sleep metric. Uh, some of those things are things that have been around for many years on Polar's platform, and some of them are pretty darn new, like skin temperature tracking came with the Polar Vantage V3 uh, this past fall, uh, and boost was uh, last year or so sometime. These are all things that show up and integrate into the Polar Flow platform, no matter which Polar device you have. You can see a couple of these screenshots right Right there uh, from the last couple of days of those same metrics again within Polar's platform. Now Polar announcing the Polar 360, which by the way is not the A360 that was announced nine years ago, uh, really one of Polar's like first forays into fancy display uh, type activity trackers. Uh, this is a different device. As I mentioned, it's a small activity tracker device, much like the Woot Band that I have in my hand right here, does not have a display on it. Uh, it's designed to be warm for up to five days at a time, uh, at least has five days of battery life anyways, has 30 meters uh, water resistant protection and it's got a washable strap that comes with it uh, but the thing to understand here is that Polar announced this in the wake of the FIBO show and FIBO is an industry show that happens uh, every year around this time and it's something where you tend to see business to business announcements as opposed to consumer announcements while there have been some consumer announcements in the past most of the time it's like big health industry fitness companies that are announcing some new partnership that frankly you won't ever really care about uh, but this time they they did announce something that you care about. The problem is you won't get it anytime soon. So I reached out to Polar to ask like what the deal with this thing was and who it was targeted at. And the reason is if you look at Polar's website about the Polar 360, it's all about taking their device and simply porting it into something and calling it your own. And by your own, I mean your own company. Uh, so something that's not Polar branded, despite the fact that it'll actually connect into the Polar Flow platform if you wanted to. It'll leverage Polar algorithms, it'll leverage all the things that Polar's has started licensed in the last um, six to nine months or so. We saw that with the Sennheiser uh, headphones where it's basically licensing different Polar portions and integrating into the Polar Flow platform as well. So I reached out to Polar and asked them what the scoop with this whole thing was and whether or not we're gonna see it uh, from a consumer standpoint. Uh, and they came back with this answer here, I'll put on the screen. In a nutshell, the Polar 360 provides a unique opportunity for businesses to access and benefit from Polar's extensive scientific knowledge and features. It can be customized to match a business's brand and offers two ways to access the data, allowing the partner to benefit either from the SDK, that's a software development kit, uh, or the API interface that's into the Polar Flow uh, platform to suit the business's needs best. Uh, this is also another step for our Polar for Business strategy and offering and is rooted for very strong demand we have seen across different industries. And on their website, they list like a dozen different industries, everything from motorsports to medical to general fitness wearables, you name it, different companies and entities that want to make something like this, but leverage all of Polar's algorithms and know-how behind the scenes. Now, there again, there's very few companies out there that have the depth that Polar does. Whether or not I agree or disagree with them on a given implementation on a watch or pricing or stuff like that, I think most people, including myself, would agree that Polar has one of the deepest uh, benches, if you will, of science and kind of experience in the endurance sports side of things uh, from a wearables perspective. And so there's plenty of companies that want to leverage that. And that's the idea being that you can go ahead and buy the Polar 360 band, device, a sensor pod, if you will, and then build out your own platform. And that platform could again be uh, your own entire apps and your own behind the scenes uh, you know, analytics side of it, uh, or it could just be literally taking the Polar 360 pod, calling it the Tropic 360 if you wanted to, and then leveraging Polar's entire platform behind the scenes, basically just as is and pretty much being a Polar Whoop Strap without calling it a Polar Whoop Strap. Again, you could call it the, the Tropic Whoop or something, whatever you wanted to. You, you come up with a creative name. Now, as for timing, here's what Polar said. The sensor itself will be available to our business partners later this year, and we are more than happy to provide more details soon once we have more content ready. Uh, which then brings up the question of, will we see it direct to you as a consumer as opposed to through some other third-party company? And unfortunately for that, they were pretty firm on their answer. Uh, they said, and I quote, we have no plans to bring a consumer version to the market at this point. 
That seems like a pretty hard no if you ask me. Like, we have no plans encompasses a lot of things. Normally companies would say like, we don't have any comment or something like that, but we have no plans is a pretty hard like, we have no plan. And I think that's a mistake. And the reason is that Polar's biggest challenge today is actually their direct competitors. If I look at something like the Polar Grid X2 Pro, their biggest challenge is pricing on this relative to their competitors, which have more features and better accuracy and you name whatever you want in that category and they have more of it. They're also up against competitors like Apple and Google and Samsung directly for your wrist space for a watch. Versus if they go into the Woot Band space directly, yes, technically speaking, the Woot Band competes with an Apple Watch or a Google Watch or a Samsung Watch or a Garmin Watch or whatever the case is. But in reality, it doesn't tend to directly compete with it. Uh, you can go out in the wild and see there are plenty of people. In fact, the majority of the people are wearing uh, some sort of smartwatch on one wrist and a Woot Band on the other wrist or the upper arm or whatever the case is. And I think that's actually where Polar has the most potential here because they're not trying to compete with these behemoths of the industry, uh, they're instead offering something they have a ton of experience and a ton of data and a ton of credibility in today, which is sport and fitness tracking, uh, and doing it in a way that's adjacent to other watches that you might want to wear. So I would encourage Polar to rethink that. I think taking the Polar 360 to consumers could be one of the best product ideas they've had in years, uh, and I think it would really help revitalize their brand a little bit and revitalize their positioning in that sort of sports and fitness realm. But again, that's that's just my two cents and maybe it's not a, a useful two cents, who knows. Anyways, if you found this video interesting or useful, go ahead and like that like button at the bottom there. Uh, my next video should be the full in-depth review of this thing here. I'm, I've just got to stand out here and shoot that video as well. My written review is totally done and ready to go and all my analysis is done and everything's all set. I just need to finish shooting that video so I can, I can be done with that too as well. But anyways, if you found this video interesting or useful, go ahead and like that like button at the bottom or hit subscribe so you can see the other video as soon as it drops. With that, have a good one.